there are far more better tools than Mujeni. Mujeni is what you think of when you think of AI art. It is highly popular because it's high quality images and because of its community. But it is expensive. You could join as a free user in the past, but that's not possible anymore. Even if you pay for a subscription, you are limited to a certain number of images, even when you are paying for it. If you're someone who doesn't want to spend that much money or use its not so beginner friendly user interface because you need to have a basic knowledge and understanding of this code, you talk to Midjourney using this code. I will show you three free AI art generators that are great alternatives to Midjourney. By using these free tools rather than Midjourney, you will save money, you will have access to more variety of features, more granular control over the settings. And some of these tools are more straightforward than my journey. I also have a bonus tool plus a special prompt generator that I will show you. So be sure to stick around. It will be at the end of the video. If you don't want to stick around, there are chapters. Skip this section and go there. Alright, the first tool is DALI with Microsoft Image Generator. DALI is from OpenAI, the same company that brought to you chat gpt to normally use dolly you need to use openai apis you need to have an api key and you have free credits but that will run out but most importantly you need to be a coder to use it directly but there is an easier way this is where bing remember bing uh, microsoft's search engine similar to google only that nobody uses it you need to log in with uh, a Microsoft account if you don't have one it is fairly easy to create one you just go to bing.com and then you click on images here and then you have an option uh, image creator go to image creator here this is Microsoft's Bing image generator behind the scenes this one uses DALI here you have some sample images which you can refer to a panda bear baking a cake in a sunny kitchen if we hover over these images, you can see the prompt, prompts that were used to generate these images. Bright eye makeup looks, a panda baking a cake in a sunny kitchen, digital art. You can look at these prompts to get an idea of how to create a prompt. And when you sign in, when you come here for the first time, you will have 25 boosted credits, which means that you can generate these images at a faster pace. After that runs out, it doesn't mean that you cannot generate images anymore. It just means that it will be a bit slower. If you scroll down, you have a, a FAQ section and then you can know a little bit more about this tool. If you come to 5, how do I be create better prompts? It kind of actually gives you a description or tip on how to create prompts. Let's start with something simple. I'm going to type in a space horse eating breakfast similar to this one a panda bear baking a cake in a sunny kitchen click on create not bad you have a space horse with a space suit and everything eating breakfast in space that is pretty cool actually if you click on generator image it will take you to a much bigger version and then you can from the download this is in 1024 by 2024 that's the dimensions you can download and do whatever you intend to do with that image now you can have fun with this these prompts so i have my discord open here this is the mid journey interface i'm going to copy this prompt and put it in uh, dali you can also use chat gpt to create prompts later in this video i'll show you a smarter way to create prompts to create stunning ai art all right not bad at all so some good images not bad as you can see i have played around it with it a little bit and you can see the recently generated images that's a pretty good one but i copied the prompt from a prompt generator and copied it here let's move on to the next tool which is playground.ai this is the tool on landing here you will see all the art generator that is being generated by other creators other users same deal you can have a look at you can click on this one of these arts you can see the prompts here if you click on the image and also the model used and additional information that you can pass to the uh, tool here now let's copy a prompt from here and go to create which will land you at this page you have filters here i don't usually 
apply any of it because most of the information is contained in the prompt anyway I'm going to copy my prompt here then you have more settings here like image dimensions and stuff like that you need a pro plan to go beyond these dimensions here 1024 by 20, 1024 but you don't really need it you can upscale the image in a different way I'll show you in a minute you have other things other settings here prompt guidance is simply the more the higher the number the more accurate it will be it will be closer to what you have given here in the prompt and you have quality and details and stuff like that I don't usually mess around with all those and then I'll just create create generate now you also have a private oh that's actually not uh, it's a little bit of squint eyes but not not really bad uh, you also have private session here which means that uh, this will not be this will not go to community feed as you as a menu generate you do need a, an account to access this page here but images are unlimited there is no limit it's free completely free after generating the image you have actions here and then you can upscale it it'll make the image bigger this is a 1024 by 1024 image but now this will be much bigger and that's this tool let's move on to the next one side tip you can also simply come here to look for the prompts that people are using and use it in other ai tools in this video uh, this is diffusion out here on the first look on this page you can see that there's a ton of tools available here the thing i like most about this tool is that uh, it's 100 percent anonymous you don't need to create an account to use this there are several other tools that you can use to create art enhance images uh, create prompts and so on in all together in one place so this tool is great to use this simply scroll down here scroll down if you have already have a good prompt from one of the other tools or you already have a prompt to hand you can skip the first two steps but i am going to go through all the steps here you don't really need to you do this to get a bit more high quality image i usually go through prompt generator a gorgeous woman let's submit it and it will create a few prompts for us here oh, that looks nice gorgeous snake woman woman lying among snakes elegant highly detailed let's see how that turns out and copy this prompt here go to prompt tuner wait for it to load enter the copied prompt here and submit what the prompt generator basically does is that uh, it goes through all the prompts that people are already using and they create a more specific prompt so the quality of images really depend on the prompt that you give the more information there is in the prompt the better the quality of the images and the good thing about this tool is that you can actually switch between these tabs while this is loading it wouldn't until you refresh the page it will retain the information it gives you a positive prompt and a negative prompt so let's copy this positive prompt here and go to let's use a different model now go to picasso diffusion put your prompt here and copy the negative prompt and go to the negative prompt and put that one there negative prompt is basically all the things that you don't want in the image and click on generate so speaking of prompts you can use this prompt generator here to create prompts for other tools as well or borrow the tool borrow a prompt from playground ai and put it here all that is not very accurate but not quite what i wanted but you get the idea you can play around with it to create new images let's do stable diffusion you can also use multiple models at the same time and see compare and select the one you like oh this is much more like it a woman that's not not bad at all like it all right that is my top three recommendations but i have a bonus tool for you bonus tool so this is basically like a place where you can host machine learning models and ai models here a lot of companies use it like microsoft's uh, Google a lot of people as you can see they all use uh, this big server slash machine learning kind of platform but it's a bit uh, if you're not used to this interface I was pretty overwhelmed when I saw this for the first time but don't worry I'll show you exactly what to do so what you need to do is go to spaces here and click on this Kandin sky well, Kandinsky and click on that and come down here enter your prompt there and copy the copy the negative prompt as well and put it in the negative prompt and click on run 
So you get the idea, you have different models to play around with. And you have a lot more things that you can if you play around with this particular website, uh, Hugging Face. There's so many models that you can play around with, but it can be a bit overwhelming or, you know, for newbies. If you're not a coder, maybe it is slightly a bit all over the place. All right, and it's not bad. Not exactly what I wanted, but you, you know, you can change the prompt accordingly. This is actually pretty good quality. And you can open this in the in a new tab. Any AI image that you create with any of these tools, you can upscale it using the upscaler here in Diffusion Art. Let's just download this. Come to the upscaler image to upscale and double the, I think it is make it the double the pixels. Let it generate. So now that is upscaled, you can open it. Wow, much bigger, very detailed. All right, that is a bonus tool here, which is pretty, actually pretty good. I think I like the this one particular tool to create faces. It's actually pretty detailed and nice. So let's take a look at, uh, at the all the art that we generated. These are some fantastic images. Look at that. There's it, folks, with these alternatives get creative, you can save money, have more variety, more granular control over creating beautiful and unique AI art. If you like this video, be sure to check this one out here and uh, I'll see you in the next one.